Thank you for tuning in. In this session, I'm going to show you how you can enable the device detection or LLDP link on FortiGate Firewall so that you can get the information about the devices that resides in the in the same network as the FortiGate Firewall is. So first of all, when you enable the device detection, it allows the FortiGate Firewall to read the information from the received LLDP message but then will not allow the FortiGate Firewall to store this message or read this message. So to have the complete information, you will have to specifically enable the LLDP reception on, on an interface level or you can do it globally. So the device detection can be enabled on three levels. One is the interface level, another one is the VDOM, and the third one is globally. So let's try to figure out how to do that from the GUI. So here you can see, this is my 40 gate firewall. And I'm going to enable the device detection on port three. So click on this click on edit, scroll down, you will see an option called device detection. Enable it, click OK. So now that I have the device detection enabled on this particular interface, I should be able to see the neighbor's information on the 40 gate firewall CLI, or you can fetch this information using your REST API or any other SNMP manager that you have in your network. So I have the CLI access. So the CLI command to enable the device detection is so we are going to enable it for port three. So the the command would be set device detection enable and from the GUI it is just the so the the option is available directly inside the network settings on CLI this is the command as you can see set device detection enable once done, we can get out of this particular hierarchy and try to, okay. So the second one is enabling the device detection globally on all the interfaces of the 40 gate firewall. So to do so, you will have to do this, which is basically getting into the global hierarchy. And then you will have to specifically mention the LLDP reception enable, or you will have to specifically mention the LLDP transmission enable when you would like the 40 gate firewall to transmit the LLDP packet. So this was about the global LLDP option. Well, I'm not going to do that now because I would like to have it on my interface, which is port three. So on port three, you can have the device detection, which is, which is just an option that allows the 40 gate firewall to read the information from the LLDP packets received. Let's try to see if we have any information there in the table. So the command to check the information is diagnose user device
So device identification is enabled. Let's wait for some time. I'm pausing this video so that I can give enough time for the 40 gate firewall to read the LLDP messages from the neighbors. Now I can see one of my neighbors on the 40 gate firewall. This is just a device identification. We do not have the LLDP reception enabled, so it is not reading all the information because the command that we used is just allowing the 40 gate file to read some of the information from the LLDP messages received. And I have already showed you how the command to enable it globally. So now we will try to enable the LLDP specifically for transmission and reception on an interface level. And the same can be done on system level as well. Now that we already have the device detection enabled on our port three, which is not enough because I would like to store the LLDP messages information. And I would like to have these information handy via my CLI or API calls or SNMP manager. So I will enable the LLDP explicitly on my port three. And we can do the same thing on global level as well. So I'm going to enable the LLDP reception. And if you would like to have the transmission enabled, you can do so as per your requirement. And to do it on a global level, you will have to get inside the global hierarchy. And then use the command LLDP transmission or reception. So I'm not going to do it on global level, but you can do so if you would like to have them running globally. So you can compare uh, the information that was available to us when you just had the device detection enabled and when you had the LLDP explicitly enabled on an interface, which in our case is both three. So you can see the information that you have. And this information will be stored on the 40 gate firewall as well, so that you can fetch it as per your need. And you can view this information on your uh, GUI as well. Let me take you to the GUI of 40 gate firewall. So this is the 40 gate firewall GUI. And this is a port three. There's no option to enable the LLDP, I guess, explicitly from the GUI. So to to see the information about the neighbors learned on port three or on this 40 gate device, you can go to dashboard, 
user and device. And inside the device inventory, you can see all the neighbor's information in a graphical format. As you can see on my screen, this is one of my Windows server. Learn on the 48 firewall port 3. It's a nice uh, little GUI which gives you all the information about the learned neighbors, which will then be useful in troubleshooting the layer two and layer three issues in your network. And at last, I will leave all the commands in the description so that you can refer them to configure the same in your network. That's all in this video. See you in the next video. And please do not forget to subscribe and hit the like button if you really enjoyed this video. Until then, bye.